is about to go down. What's up, guys? Welcome to another video. Today we're gonna do the ethnic. <laughs> Got it. Yo, the ethnic. Yeah, the tag, the Ronda. Mm. So we're doing the Burundian tag. Um, today we're doing the Burundian tag. And you know, we talk about Burundians, our habits, our parents' habits, and we talk about a lot of things, you know. So uh, yeah, we get started. So before I start, <clears throat> a lot of uh, Burundi is located in East Africa, uh, right on top of Rwanda, because so many people know Rwanda for some, for some reason here. Yeah. We speak French. Kirindi, a bit of Swahili, and yeah, we don't speak English, okay? It's not our language, that's not us, okay? Do not speak English with the Burundian unless he's lived out of Burundi, you feel me? Okay. Language mix. Like I said, we speak French, Kirindi, and Swahili, but I don't speak Swahili. So, it would lead to broken, a broken language somewhere, right? A lot of Burundians, yeah? I'm not coming out to you guys, just relax. Not coming at you, but a lot of Burundians have a problem with mixing French and Kirindi. I do it too. I'll put some French or I'll put some English depending on who you're speaking to. I'm speaking to my mom, yeah? And because I'm not that good in Kirindi sometimes, so I'll, I'll mix French because it's easier and they'll understand and English as well. So we have that problem when we do that, that mix, né? If I'm talking to like a friend, I'll be like, it was lit yesterday, you know, Twagie, Kuri Beach. Oh, you see? So I mixed English. Uh, so yeah, we have a lot of mixed language remixing, okay? Okay. Um, this is my favorite one. Yo, this is my favorite. I legit have like a list of things. I don't know if you saw, but yeah. Focus. What's up? Yo, what's up? Bro, what's up? Bro, what's up needs to be taken away from me. On God, bro. Especially from parents. I love my parents, but still, yo, a lot of you can relate, right? You don't even use WhatsApp that, that much, actually. The youth don't even use it that much. You just use it maybe for phone calls because it's cheaper, right? We don't even use it that much. When you use WhatsApp, parents when parents message you on WhatsApp, yeah. You just be on WhatsApp, you just go onto WhatsApp and they send you this long message. I know you guys know which message I'm talking about. This long message that, that says like maybe um manger des fruits, uh, like eat eat these types of fruits if you want this, 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 this. And your dad will probably send it and be like, mm, Abba, wow, wow, go, go, you have to eat carrots or else yeah, you will be blind, you won't see well. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Relax. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? Uh, preaching. Okay. I'm Christian. Okay. I don't. I don't. I'm not saying that this is annoying. I'm just saying that this is what happens. Okay. Don't come at me, bro. This is what happens. This is what happens. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Something else about Burundians going out. Yo. No matter if you're 18, 20, if you live with your parents, going out, you're always gonna get the five U's, okay? For everyone who speaks Kiro, even Kinyo, do you understand? The five U's, which is Ugiehe, Ujana Nande, Utahagute, Utahajari, Hamujana Nuokwande. If you can't answer those five questions, just forget about it. You're not going anywhere, you're sleeping, or you're cooking, or you're, or, you're, or you're doing something that involves helping your parents. You have a friend coming over. If you can't answer that question, just leave it. You're not going to see your friends today. Just, just forget about it, bro. It's just simple. Staring and gossip. Oh, Burundians love to stare. It's like, it's like normal in Burundi to stare, okay? So if you're walking, no matter who you are, if you're walking like a huge crowd of people, they will stare. One person has to stare. When I was 14, 13, I had this like, like, you know, um, you know those mohawks that like come in into the middle and they just like a huge spike that go through your head, right? Yeah, I had a mohawk, bro. But then my mohawk was never straight. So I always thought my mohawk was here, right? 
But then I never realized that it was always here. So people would tell me, yo, your mohawk is here, your mohawk is here. Like, fix it. And I'm like, nah, bro, it's in the middle. Because whenever I used to touch it, right, I would feel, well, I'd do this all the time for people who knew me then. I would do this all the time to try and get the mohawk in the middle, right? And yeah, it was never in the middle, right? Um, when I used to walk with my mother, or when I used to go to like her friend's house, whatever, or um, when I used to meet new people with my mother, or even myself uh, alone, they used to always ask me one question. Because I remember I was really, really, really short, chubby, and I had a mohawk. I looked like a girl. People would come up to me to be like, oh, I still have a baby face, but I had like a, a, a chubby baby face type of look. Really, really talk. If I'm in Burundi and I do something today, two days later, everyone will know. People will know. In Bur you can't keep secrets in Bro, you can't keep secrets in Burundi. I'm sorry, you really can't because gossip is real in Burundi. I'm not even going to jump. Time management. <laughs> Any marriage even funerals, anything formal that you're planning at the Burnian, you always have to do it two hours earlier. So if you want people to arrive by six, you're gonna say, oh, party starts at five, four forty, four thirty, yeah? Because people will come at six, right? Because remember, Burnians, they come, and they always come in groups, okay? So if you're not coming with a group, then they're not coming at all. So like, I can't, if I'm, if I'm in Burundi, I'm not gonna lie, if I'm in Burundi, I can't go, I, I can't go see like friends, I can't go to, to, to like, if there's a birthday party or something, I can't go to a birthday party or a party alone, right? So I always call up my friend, I'll be like, yo, what time are we going? And he'll be like, oh, it starts at like seven. I'll be like, oh, okay, so we're going at eight. Because <laughs> it, that's just how it is. No one's going to be there at the right time. It's always an hour or two hours or an hour and a half late. Right? So if you know, um, in Burundi, every Sunday people go for sports. If you look very well, you see they're going in like huge groups, like big groups. Women and kids even and grown men you know with their tummies out, the beer belly and everything. So yeah, let me show you what they look like. Wait. Grown men. They look like this. I'm not even joking. They go for walks on Sundays. They go on walks on Sundays. Where they start is not where they finish, okay? <laughs> Let's say they start home, okay? They're like 10 people, okay? Or maybe there's like one person you start home, but on the way, you're picking up people at the same time. So you're walking together. So at the end, right? Always like 10 people and the end is always at a bar. Can you imagine you're drinking at 11 a.m. and eating at 11 a.m. Guys, okay, eating is normal, but I'm sorry. You're eating and you're drinking at 11 a.m. Honestly, you're drinking beer at 11 All that weight you just lost, you're just picking it up in alcohol again. Like, I don't understand. But it's, it's just, that's brilliant, bro. That's, that's just brilliant. But yeah, phone calls, bro. Burundians are the loudest people ever, okay, on a phone call. Bitty! Nisawa! Trao Vremo Tringaho! Chill, relax. <laughs> relax, we're right there. Yeah? And yo, name baptism. <laughs> okay, like I said in my last video, if you haven't watched it, the eye, it's right up here. Click the eye, okay? Like I said, my name is Josh, right? And I have the other names, and then my last name, of course, which is Kirandi. It's easy for people to, to say in Burundi, right? My first name, and my middle names it's all, has always been a problem. Paul becomes a Brazilian name all of a sudden. So if I say my name is Paul, this is why I don't say my name. If I say my name is Paul, you be like, Paul, Paul, bro, Paul, Paul, Paul. <laughs> I don't understand. So if I say my name is Josh or Joshua, Yosua, Yosua. If I say my name is Lawrence, they'll add an R for every L. They pronounce the actual R, but if there's an L, they're pronouncing it as an R. So if I say my name is Lawrence, Vuras, Vuras. Stupid. Shopping. And every time a Brindian goes shopping, there has to be a discount. If I'm going to the market, yeah, to buy, let's say, a kilo of rice, 
I don't know how much it is. Please don't come at me. I don't know how much it is. Let's say a kilo is like 1,500 um, Burundian francs. Stupid! I have 2,000, so I can afford it, right? I always go for 1,000. Okay, so if, if it's 1,500 and I have 2,000, I'll be like, oh, I can save 1,000 right now, right? No manner of gabos. I'm here, yours. If you're at your parents' shop, you know how to shop. Even when you're taking a taxi, if you're going from like, let's say, Kinindo to like Kiriri. I think that's like 4K or like 3K500 if you're taking a taxi taxi. Yeah, if you're taking that taxi and you enter the taxi and you speak like broken Kirundi or you speak English, bro, or you speak French. Yeah, if you speak French, jackpot. If you speak English, bro, bank, you're a bank, okay? If you speak English, they're gonna they're gonna tell you yeah straight up 10k. Right? So if, if you're foreign if you're a foreigner and you speak English, 10k. Straight up. God, last one. Okay, I finished high school now, let's say. Okay? And I go to uni. As soon as I finish uni, these are bring bringing parents. Maria Jinikyari. Abana Nijari. Rats got to cut rasads at Kweb. I got to go my two pet crib. Well, I'm out, man. That nigga's tripping. Most brand new parents now, with the last generation, of course. They got married at like 22, 23, 20, yeah, 22, 23. Right? So that's, that's why they push the kids to get married. I wouldn't get married at 23. I think I'd get married. If I move, I'm gonna get married. I don't wanna get married. But they find his body floating in front of that. I'd get married at like. 30, 31, I think that's a good time to get married. So yeah, subscribe for more, like my video, share my video. Um, I got another video coming this week, like I said, two, week, two videos per week. And yeah, I we out.